bad man to come and be the host. I'm feeling all this, you already know this. She want a bad man to come and be the host. I'm just going to go ahead and finish peeling my potatoes. I've already washed them very, very well and dried them. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel them. Okay, you just want to go ahead and cut your potatoes up in squares and the smaller you cut them the faster they're cooked but you want to cut them all approximately the same size Our potatoes with cold water. Always like to rinse my potatoes off. Go ahead and put the potatoes in the pot. You want to cover your potatoes with cold water. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cook them for about 20 minutes on medium heat. I went ahead and added a pinch of salt and we're just going to go ahead and bring those to a boil and then turn the fire down and let those cook for about 20 minutes until pork tender. Okay, once they get pork tender, just want to go ahead and take them out. Okay, I went ahead and drained my potatoes and I put them back in the pot that they were cooking in and I'm just going to let them sit there a minute until most of the steam has evaporated. I'm just going to go ahead and start mashing my potatoes. And I'm not going to add anything to it until I get it all smashed up. I'm going to go ahead and transfer my potatoes to because they are very, very bland. They have no flavor. So I've added some salt and pepper. Go ahead and stir that up. This is the simple and easiest way to make potatoes and they are so creamy. Creamy, creamy, creamy. Mashed potatoes are so simple, delicious, and so easy to make. I'm just going to go ahead and add some chives on there for a little bit more flavor and decoration. This is optional. Of course, you don't have to do this, but I love chives. Love chives. There you go, guys. The perfect mashed potato.